and ask that the truth weigh his deeds and see if the deeds are more good or more bad. Depending upon that, he goes or she goes to heaven or hell. The early morning Uttamna is followed first also. This is the second Uttamna and then followed by Afringan and Baj also. The other ceremonies after this is called the Charum ceremony, which is on the fourth day, the Dasam or Dasmu ceremony, which is on the tenth day, the thirtieth ceremony, which is on the Masiso or the thirtieth day, and the anniversary ceremony, which is the Varsi or the one year ceremonies. If you want to have some more details about all the ceremonies performed and done in North America and in India, you can. Uh, there is a very wonderful book written by our two Airways, Airways Jehan Bagli and Adi Unwala of NAMC, Understanding and Practice of Obsequies. If you are interested, please let me know. Now we come to the purification ceremonies. We won't cover too much in the detail. But the one is the Padiap ceremony, which is the ceremony of doing the Kasti. Uh, usually after we go for our natural things and so on. And also the non-ceremony, which is performed before a Naujad, before a wedding. And uh, so those are also performed. The non-ceremony has actually four parts, as we see here in the bottom under two. The Kapadiap Kusti means the Kusti ceremony we perform first, then we symbolic eating of the pomegranate leaf and drinking of niram or juice, and then the Pate prayer, which we don't do really right after none, and then the final bath. The, the same thing is done before Naujot, before wedding, and uh, in the old days, before and after a childbirth for the mother, and also during the Muktad day, some of the Vedans used to do that. Then we come to the Bareshnum ceremony. As we said, this is the ceremony of nine days of seclusion for a Mabed who has to perform the higher liturgical Palmail ceremonies or the candidates who wants to become a Navar or Murta. In the nine days, he cannot, you know, uh, touch anybody and so on, as we discussed before. Uh, Actually, this is all done by giving a Barashnum thing in a Barashnum ga. We won't go detail on this one. Also, the same thing is uh, again for the Barashnum. We are not going to cover too much. And then the process of Barashnum we are not going to cover also. And then the actual process. We can read about this one into the two Gujarati books I mentioned. The nine days of retreat, they can only take three times the bath on thir third day, sixth day, and ninth day. And then the season of the ceremony, the season should not be the monsoon season because of the water coming down, because they have to be outside and they cannot have anything out from outside fall on their, on their body. So that's why in the monsoon ceremony, there is no Barashnum given. The food is cooked by the Zoroastrians only, and they have to observe the badges before and after the prayer, after the uh, all their meals, and um, well, the other thing is not applicable. The Riman purification ceremony, I am on number 33, is really to purify a person who has come in long contact with filth or from the dead bodies, and we are not going to talk too much about it. And this is the same thing again, but there are three things in our religion and in our old customs, our saliva, our nail and hair, and our issues from men and women, they are supposed to be uh, unclean, and so we have to do the purification ceremony for that. Now in saliva, as you can see that most of the mobids in most of our ceremonies put on the padan, as we call it, to cover their mouth. And this is to make sure that saliva does not fall on the holy fire in front of whom they pray. 
Also, the nail and hair after being cut is supposed to be unclean. In, uh, by the way, about that padan I forgot to mention. If you look at the Persepolis, all the uh, things that are carved on Persepolis, uh, Emperor Darius I is receiving at the No Road celebration all his 26 subjects coming to greet him with gifts. When you see a person kneeling in front of the emperor sitting on his throne, he has one of his hands in front of his mouth, which is very symbolic of the same thing we are talking about, Padan and